79 Beekman Street. There's Eden Compton Studio and Gallery here, which is an art gallery. It's also a studio and a teaching studio. Upstairs are studio uh, workshop, not workshops, but studio spaces that are shared by about four or five uh, co-op artists. Uh, there's um, Carolyn Justice, who's a pastel, and she teaches over at Saratoga Arts. There's uh, Kelly Smith, who used to be at the Tang. Uh, there is Rachel, who's a textile artist. There's Alice Kaplan, who comes in uh, not that often. And um, I think that's it right now. So as we go down, it's a private residence. It used to be a uh, studio. Uh, but yeah, did you sit outside? Yeah. Uh, the valley is there. This is Collective 131. This is a new gallery and it's an art art and gift shop. It's run by Cassie, who's a, um, she grew up around here, but she just moved up from Brooklyn and this is a new retail space. Mm -hmm. uh, this is owned by Michael Gasser, who owns the restaurant, The Cravery. Okay. Next is 70 Beekman. This is also called Living Resources. They do, um, they give art classes for um, not necessarily handicapped, but, but uh, all types of people. <laughs> this is Anthony Ricci, mm -hmm. Ricci, Ricci, who's one of our pop-up artists. He's an illustrator. He's been getting lots of press lately for his new books, which I can see he's got out there. <laughs> uh, so this was this was the. Uh, Guys, what's the name of your business? Stone Wraps. Stone Wraps. So you, you were down at 30 Beatman? Yes. But you're now online? Or yeah. You're doing You'll online business Facebook and they're page. coming out yeah. pop-ups? Yep. To showcase their work. And we have... I don't know. I don't know. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Hi, Joe. Oh, these are beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. So they're one of our pop-up artists? Gorgeous. Lovely. This is Julianne, who's also actually a member of our Art Sister Board, uh, and she has her... What, describe your business. Um, these are all hand-painted. I have magnets, ornaments, and paintings, and art kits so people can make their own. And this, uh, this is the Fiddler. Most of our pop-ups recently. Why don't you guys introduce yourselves and tell them about your your paintings? Cool. That's a that's Andrew's painting. It's a, a Chinese uh, zodiac signs and uh, that's a Chinese brush ink painting mm -hmm. and on rice paper. Here are the signs that can tell uh, what they are. Mm -hmm. And each one. Um, have some uh, characteristics and uh, show them uh, how, how they are. And these are Western painting, but they are in Chinese um, black ink brush painting too. I my plan is uh, to print uh, all of them, four of them. I finished five of them. This is also, you know, we, we, we have a saying that when you come to a, a place, a place like that, the American bold people is a sign of the country. Right. So it doesn't mean Chinese. Oh, okay. So a symbol of 
of yeah. whatever you're representing right. with, with the, this thing. The word means it's a uh, super company. Oh, okay. I would say they come from very high, from the sky, but they will get whatever. They get the, the yeah. Yeah, cool. get the right point. Right. Very this good. is the, um, the ox. This year is the year of the ox. Okay. So we're painting the ox. This is one of the frame of the tiger. And Chinese um, nice. painting. Very good. This is Lake Jordan. Lake Jordan. Oh, I love yeah. that interpretation. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. It's yeah, a, uh, nice shape. Fall color. Yeah, <laughs> that's really nice. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, very good. Yeah. I think you know. I think you know this portrait artist out here. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you guys have met them, right? Mm -hmm. about it and we had some big meetings where the artists came so we knew we had kind of a following to mm -hmm. to go forward with this and, and now we're setting up a what a 10 by 10 show which is a tribute to Michelle Lawan who made handbag I believe am I right right about? she had mimosa gallery mimosa gallery that's a nice old name for she, right she had the, like two spaces on the other side of this gallery so right. you know she had one to begin with and then she expanded into another one but she was she was a really our anchor store, mm -hmm. uh, phenomenal uh, artist herself. And, but she was, you know, a fine art, a fine crafts person. I went all to the big shows, and then she would get the best of the crafts to come and be in her sh in her studio. So mm -hmm. it was phenomenal. And we're we're standing in a space. Marcus can speak to the mission that's going on here in this space. Oh yeah, um, I work for a Living Resources uh, Arts Program. We have a. Uh, uh, we serve people with disabilities in the capital region, and we have uh, three studios in Albany, Schenectady, and Malta. And a lot of the artwork here is by our students um, in our studios. Um, we opened this gallery about four years ago, um, almost exactly four years ago, um, to be an inclusive space where our artists could show and work side by side with community members. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, we're doing a survey. Thank you. 